Hello, what's up? Welcome back. Thanks for oh, thanks for coming back. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be looking back at a thrift haul that I posted three months ago, and I listed all of these items on Poshmark. Some of them also got cross-listed over to eBay, Mercari, and Depop. All these items were bought at the Goodwill outlet, where you basically sift through these big blue bins, and at the end they weigh everything, and then you pay by the pound, so it's a really great way to get lower cost inventory. All right, let's watch it back. I found this cardigan and at first I didn't really know if it was anything exciting. Um, it says folklore album on it so that was like my one giveaway that okay I know the Taylor Swift album that came out like last year was called folklore so I thought maybe it would be Taylor Swift related. Um, it didn't have any tag or anything like that so I wasn't totally sure but I threw it in my cart and just kind of like checked in on it to see um, if it was anything good. So this cardigan is the one that was released when the album was released and I think it was based on my like the research I did about it because I had no idea about it at all. It said it was only available for like 36 hours so there is a super limited number of these and I checked eBay obviously and these cardigans are selling for like 200 plus dollars and the sold comps are all really recent too like some sold yesterday the day before like all throughout august these are all super recent i'm just super excited this was such a gem of a find all right. okay so that taylor swift cardigan it did not disappoint let me tell you i ended up just listing it on ebay and i did like a bidding situation so i put it up there for a five day auction and it ended up selling for $330 i originally priced it at $149.99 and just was hoping to make at least like $200 on it and it went all the way up to $330. People kept bidding on it and then someone at the very end snatched it. I think that's the move on a bid. You wait till like the last few seconds. In any case, I made a really great profit on the item and it ended up being a great sale. Moving on to something so much less exciting, but good stuff nonetheless. I got these American Eagle black skinny jeans. They're size 16 uh, regular, so it's a great size to resell. I think everyone can use a good pair of like a stretched denim black skinny jeans so I think these will sell pretty quickly. So those black skinny jeans sold on Poshmark. I had them listed at $35 and then I had sent out offers to likers for 20% off with discounted shipping um, and they sold after only six days. Those like high-rise black jeggings seem to be great flips. That left me with an almost $20 profit for a pair of American Eagle jeans. So I like picking those up, especially if they're a bigger size and like black when they're skinny jeans it seems to really sell best. Then I got this. I've actually never bought Old Navy to resell, but since this was a Mario Kart item, I felt the need to get it. And it's just this gray short sleeve shirt. It says all Old Navy collectibles or collectibilities. I don't know. I don't think it's like a super vintage one or anything, but Mario Kart is so iconic that I thought even though it's Old Navy, this will probably resell. But that Mario Kart shirt has not sold yet. It's another one of those like emotional purchases that I talked about in a recent video. Sometimes when something just feels like nostalgic, it makes me want to pick it up even though it's like not necessarily a good buy. So I have it listed at $15 and we will see. Hopefully it does eventually sell. Um, it's not going to be a great profit and next time I would just leave that behind. A pair of men's Levi's. They're kind of a blue, I guess, cargo pant size 29.32 and they're the Levi's 508. This is like a classic style and I think um, Levi's tend to do really well normally when I resell them. So these should be no different. These would be like good work pants or something. So Levi's are a little bit hit or miss. Um, sometimes they flip really quickly and sometimes they just don't. So I think it just depends on the style and sometimes the sizing. Um, I have those listed at $35 so it could also be a situation that I just need to relist and lower the price a little bit. Especially since it's been three months and they haven't gotten a ton of interest or any offers or anything. So probably relist and lower the price on those. Okay. Next is this mini Bowden pullover sweatshirt. It's a kid's size 3 to 4 Y, which is that 3 to 4 years or 3 to 4 youth? I think 3 to 4, whatever it is. 3 to 4 youth, 3 to 4 years. Um, pullover sweatshirt, really cute with this bird on it. And it's got this um, like orange polka dot detailing on the hood and on that front, po front pouch pocket. 
really pretty like vibrant colors great condition mini Bowden is such a cute brand I've sold it one other time before and it flipped really quickly for a good amount for a kids item so this is a brand that I definitely would be on the lookout for that mini Bowden pullover sweatshirt did sell relatively quickly it sold after 40 days um, I had it listed for $30 and then um, accepted an offer for $20 and that sold on Poshmark. So that left me with like about a $15 profit. Um, so for a kids item, I will take that and you know, it only took a little over a month. So that was a good flip. And with fall coming up or I guess, yeah, fall is quickly approaching. Pumpkin is in the air <laughs> and in the aisles at the grocery store. So Got these pumpkin kids leggings. They're from a brand called Charlie's Project and they are a kids size six to 10. Like a nice harvesty uh, theme, I guess, harvest print. Those Charlie's Project leggings have not sold yet. I have them listed at $18 and they have gotten some attention but um, no offers or anything. And I kind of was hoping they would sell right around Halloween time but since they didn't, they'll probably wait till next fall. Um, so, oh well. But yeah, that is sometimes the risky thing with like buying a seasonal item or like a holiday specific item is if it doesn't sell for that current year, then it probably will take another year to sell, but that's okay. Then I got these women's snow pants in this really pretty fuchsia color. And they're just a really classic snow pant with a zipper um, at the hem there, side pockets. And uh, obviously we are approaching snow season, so I'm sure these will sell relatively quickly. And the brand is Arctics, size small. The snow pants ended up selling on Poshmark. I had them listed at $35 and someone sent me an offer for $28 and I accepted that. So that left me with a profit of a little over $20 and it only took those 23 days to sell. I love picking up snow gear. People really are buying it this time of year. And I think especially since a lot of people just go to the mountain or like take a day to go to the mountain, but don't necessarily um, need snow gear all the time. People really do like to look on like the resale market for stuff like that since they aren't gonna be using it a lot. They don't necessarily wanna spend a ton of money on like new gear. So that's why I think those kind of items really do sell pretty quickly, um, especially when it gets closer to like fall winter. Then another mini Bowden item. I think this is like the cutest girl's skirt. It's got this ruffled hem, this pink kind of a cottage core print um, and this like velvet bow at the front. Really, really cute. And again, Mini Bowden is just a great brand to resell. I know consignment stores really like selling if they take kids clothes, they like Mini, mini Bowden. That Mini Bowden ruffled cottage core skirt has not sold yet. Mini Bowden does usually flip pretty quickly, but I think that one just since it was like out of season um, is why it hadn't sold. So probably by the spring summer, I think it will sell and if it doesn't then i will definitely be bringing that to my local consignment store they love selling mini bowden so that is one of those items that either way i think will will definitely sell whether or not i sell it myself or bring it to the consignment store and either way i will make a good profit because i only spent a dollar sixty on it so then i got this zara cardigan and cardigans just seem to be the theme of this thrift haul i think i have a couple more in there that i haven't even shown you yet but this is a really nice soft one with that newer Zara tag. I guess kind of an animal print, leopard print. Extremely cozy, perfect for fall, size medium. So that's sold on Mercari and I had it listed at $22 and then someone just bought it outright at $22. So that left me with a total profit after a little bit of shipping that I had to pay for. Left me with a total profit of about $12 and it took 68 days to sell. So still sold in that three months and left me with a decent profit, especially for how much like wear it had. I was really happy to make $22 for that and nothing is better than when someone just outright buys it and doesn't even make an offer. <laughs> that is the best. All right, next is this BDG, another cardigan, kind of this rust orange color cardigan, really nice knit material with these front pockets. And no buttons on these, I don't think, so it's just kind of an open face cardigan which is a great keyword for a cardigan like this. If you are inputting that in your title, someone were to look that up, um, just means like the kind that don't have the buttons, it just kind of stays open. 
like the one I'm wearing right now. So this is um, from BDG by Urban Outfitters and it's a size medium. I think actually from here on out all the rest of these have sold so that's cool. I ended up selling that on Poshmark and I had it listed at $24 and then sent out offers to Lakers for 20% off with discounted shipping and it ended up selling in one day. So I think it sold the day, the next day after I listed it and I had sent out offers. So that was a very quick flip. BDG definitely does not always sell that fast for me. Um, I think that was just a very like seasonal color, that kind of rust orange. Um, and then it being like fall cardigans. I got this Hannah Anderson pajama set, which is so adorable. It's these Christmas, it's like a Christmas theme with these little dogs with antlers. And I was lucky enough to find the top and the bottoms in the bin. So I grabbed both because obviously I can sell it for more if it's in a set. And Hannah Anderson is another one of those uh, premium children's brands. The little one will look so cute in these. It's a size 18 to 24 months. Sometimes these sit for a little while on Poshmark, but I'm gonna try to cross list these like kids premium brands over to Mercari and see how they do. Maybe even eBay too. And then consignment stores, I believe like this brand a lot too, Hannah Anderson. So those ended up selling on Poshmark. I had them listed for $28 and then they sold for $22 with discounted shipping. Um, so that left me with a profit of a little under $14 and they took 35 days to sell. Definitely anytime you can find the set for pajamas, I think they sell a lot better versus if you just have the bottoms or the top, um, especially for kids stuff. I feel like kids are always in like a little matchy sets so that's a brand I keep picking up and sometimes it sells for more than other times but it does always seem to sell so I think Hannah Anderson is a great one to be on the lookout for if you're not already and if you pick up kids clothes that one definitely is a great one to look for. Then I got this Delta 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 crew neck sweatshirt. thought this would be really perfect for a college student in this sorority. Really nicer thick material and it's kind of that washed blue color. Size small. So definitely an oversized fit. Yeah, I'm sure a sorority girl will really love this. Were you guys in a sorority in college? <laughs> Tell me if you were in a sorority in college or if you're in college, if you're in a sorority. I was not. I went to like a urban school, so there wasn't really like big, it wasn't like, what's that called even? Greek life? Like I think there was one sorority in frat, but it was like not like your normal kind. That crew neck ended up being like a hot commodity because I sold it and then I had someone um, like message me right after it sold saying like, I was just about to buy this. Is there any way you could like sell it to me instead? She even offered like a higher amount and I had already sent her an offer um, like earlier that day or the day before or something and so and she hadn't responded to it so I didn't feel too bad because she had her chance like for hours and hours before the other person bought it but e either way like I just felt like I should just go with the person who bought it first so I had it listed at $27 and then um, I was sent an offer for $21 and so I accepted that and it sold in only two days so maybe that's like a good indicator that sorority or fraternity stuff sells well. I think also since it was like an oversized sweatshirt, it's a very like on-trend item um, with the the sorority stuff on it. So maybe be on the lookout for stuff like that. Um, that's the only time I've ever sold a sorority like Greek life graphic sweatshirt. So I don't know how they do like typically, but that was a really fast flip. All right. And then I got this Madewell short sleeve shirt that ties in the front there really really cute cream color and then it unbuttons right here um, if you wanted to wear like a tank top under this and keep it open like that love selling made well I say it pretty much every video but it's a major bread and butter brand for me so I pretty much always pick up made well as long as it's in good condition and the newest tag in particular they just seem to do really well that Madewell texture and thread wrap tie top sold on Poshmark. I had it listed at $25 and then I accepted an offer for $16. Um, that left me with a profit of a little over $11 and it took 61 days to sell. Let me know in the comments if you sell Madewell and how you like selling it. Um, I know some people don't like to sell it but for me it really does flip well and it's easy to find. So those two things combined, I'm going to continue picking it up. 
Then I got this Leith cardigan, and Leith is a brand sold at Anthropology. It's another cardigan, and this one has buttons on it. Same like a kind of a rust burgundy color, super cute, a little bit of an oversized fit. Um, size medium. This brand doesn't go for a ton, probably put it up there for around $30, maybe $25 even, but from the only other time I sold this brand, it did flip pretty quickly, so do love a quick flip. Is that like the fourth cardigan? There's been, I think, at least four cardigans already. That ended up selling on Poshmark. I had it listed at $30, and I sent an offer to Likers for 20% off, so it sold for $24, left me with a little over $15 in profit, and it took 28 days to sell. From my experience so far, that brand has a really good sell-through rate, and it left me with a good profit both times, so when I find Leith moving forward, especially at the bins, I am going to pick it up. Then I got another Madewell top, and this is a pink ribbed long sleeve sweater with this really cute ruffled shoulder, size large. The nice thing about Madewell too is they put the style number on their tag, which makes it really easy to look up the item um, like on Google or whatever and just get either a stock photo or just an item description. It helps like listing go way quicker if you can find the actual like listing originally on the website. So that's one thing I love about selling Madewell is aside from the fact that it flips relatively quickly for a good amount, it's pretty easy to like find all the details about the item and a stock photo. So that is something I really love. All right, and then lastly, I that ended up selling on Poshmark for $25. I listed it at $32 and sent out offers for 20% off with discounted shipping. Left me with about a $16 profit and sold after 24 days. Got this Brandy Melville cardigan, really cute light pink color. And these are those ones that are like super on trend right now where they're smaller, they kind of fit really like tight and form fitting. And Brandy Melville, it's a one size fits all but really it's like an extra small or a small Enjoy the story. that ended up selling on Poshmark I had it listed at $22 and I accepted a $14 offer left me with about a $10 profit and it sold in four days so Brandy Melville is not by any means a highly profitable brand to resell but it does seem to sell quickly because people are on the lookout for it so that's why I sometimes pick it up not always but if the style is right, um, then I, I will grab it. Okay, so that was at least five cardigans in that haul. Like, that was like half the haul I felt like was cardigans. So there were 16 items total in that haul and 12 have sold in three months so far. Um, the total cost of goods for that haul was $25.60, $1.60 per item. Um, and in sales total so far, I've made $569.00 and in profit, $451.76. Obviously that Taylor Swift cardigan was carrying this haul. Most of those profits were between $10 and $20. Um, like those were all just really kind of lower profits but that Taylor Swift cardigan was almost $300 in profit. Definitely a majority of that came from that cardigan. Kind of how it goes for me. Usually when I go to the Goodwill outlet and I'm thrifting, I'll find like one to four really high profit flips and then the rest will be kind of like lower profit or bread and butter brands. Be on the lookout next week for a thrift with me in New York City type of vlog. Kyle and I are going to the city tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. You'll be watching this on Sunday. So we're going to the city tomorrow and it's obviously the holidays so there's going to be lots of good holiday footage. So that'll be coming out December 18th. Hope you enjoy that vlog. It'll be good. I think. I haven't filmed it yet but I'm assuming it's going to be good. All right that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!